They make me. <laughs> oh. story of Aladdin and his wonderful lamp, we watch a young and immature boy named Aladdin grow into a man, willingly enduring hardships to find his lovely princess. In the course of the play, we meet an evil impostor claiming to be Aladdin's uncle, that ill-disposed fellow with an allergy to children who just sang us his theme. We also meet his mother, who is suffering much grief over how that cheeky and unruly boy Aladdin conducts himself. Where can that lazy, good-for-nothing son of mine be? His supper is already cold. Why, I remember when you used to be such a good boy. I remember when you used to be a good boy. I remember how it was so long ago. I remember when you used to be a good boy. But now you make your mother worry so. up to buy a camel from a used camel salesman whose business is called what else but camel lot camels for sale on sale today we have got camels yeah hi there i am honest Ahmed, and welcome to my camel lot welcome to When it comes to camels, we have a lot. The camel of your future is me. We got in camel lot. You'll really love the way our camels trot. Be you a human on your hot and top. The camel of your future is me. The evil uncle, Aladdin, and the camel, 
whose name is Arthur, go on a journey to look for a valuable lamp. Only a young, unspoiled person can retrieve this magical lamp for the wicked uncle. When Aladdin and the camel discover the plan, the uncle locks them in a cave. In this cave they find the lamp. There is writing on it. Aladdin rubs the lamp so he can read it, and a genie appears to grant his every wish. What do you do? Magic. Magic? I can bring you your heart's desire. Oh, boy. Well, if the genie can grant Aladdin his heart's desire, then maybe he can bring the princess to him. The genie does just that. Aladdin and the princess fall in love. What is this magic I feel? What strange enchantment can steal my contentment away? What do poets say? This magic is love. Why does my heart tremble so? Why can't I speak? Don't I know? But the genie sometimes messes things up, and he accidentally makes the princess disappear back to where she came from. Aladdin, the genie, and Arthur the camel leave on a magic carpet ride out of the cave.
Meanwhile, the evil uncle approaches the king and says that he wants to marry the princess. He tries to persuade the king with his ill-gotten gains. What can I do for you? Well, I would like to marry your daughter. <laughs> Everybody wants to marry my daughter. What do you have to offer that others don't? Well, I have a fortune in precious gems, emeralds, rubies, and diamonds. You call this a fortune? Well, it's, it's all that I have. It's not enough. It's not? No. No? Well, after many dastardly deeds perpetrated by the wicked uncle, like stealing the lamp, kidnapping the princess, and generally disrupting Aladdin's lifestyle, good overcomes evil. Thanks to the warm support of his friend the camel, the courage and determination of the princess, and his own steadfastness, Aladdin tricks the evil uncle out of his power and sends him packing back to where he came from, trapped in the lamp. You see, the uncle was actually a bad genie. He had originally been trapped in the magic lamp himself, but he tricked the good genie into the lamp and escaped out into the world to do his evil deeds. But now he was back where he belonged. Just be careful not to rub the lamp if you find it. I'm gonna make you 